Hey y'all, good morning. It is March 23rd, week number two for me in quarantine. It has been a holly jolly spring break. I am a teacher, so last week was my spring break and I spent it in quarantine. This is week two. We're supposed to officially be back from spring break, but I have no news or instructions on what to do for my remote learning situation. As far as I can see, the district has taken care of the next two weeks of learning for all of the teachers. So that is really great for me that I don't have to stress about getting all of these lessons plans submitted, but it's also kind of frustrating because I have nothing to do. So I'm gonna go pick up my supplies and materials and laptop from school at around 1 p.m and then hopefully I can get to work because I really, 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 really want some work to do. It's hard just sitting around figuring out what to do, um, finding things to do in the house. I'm pretty much done organizing everything. So I'm kind of over the organizing stuff, but you'll see me doing some more of that today. So I'm gonna take you up to my room and show you what I have going on right now. Okay guys, so I'm up here in my bedroom and as you can see, I have a whole bunch of jewelry laid out. Now, as I was cleaning my closet um, last week, I found a bag full of jewelry that I totally forgot about. I actually don't wear any of this jewelry anymore, probably because it's been hiding away for a while, but a lot of it is this like gaudy, like, what do you call it, costume jewelry that was super in in like the early 2000s. I really don't think people wear this anymore and I actually have purchased some quality jewelry recently now that I am married and older and sophisticated. So I don't really wear any of this, so I'm debating whether to keep it at all. But for now, I kind of detangled it all because it was all tangled and I'm going to find a place to put it and tuck it away for now. Okay, so I have these little metal jewelry stands. I don't know if you can see them. I think I'm going to use this white one. I don't know where to put it. I don't want it in my restroom because, you know, the restroom is for toiletries and stuff like that. It's actually a big mess right now, so don't mind the mess. Very dirty towel right there. Um, Right now I have all my jewelry on my nightstand, but I don't think I can fit anything else in here because these little drawers need room to open, as you can see, so I can't really put anything next to it. So I think I'm going to use this area right here on the TV. So let's get started. So here is all of the fashion jewelry or necklaces all on one necklace stand. They're right by the TV. I'm just going to tuck it away behind my TV because I do not think I'll be wearing any of this jewelry actually. So it's going to hide away right there. I did end up putting a few pieces in my daily jewelry box right there. So those pieces I will be wearing more frequently, but the rest of them will stay tucked away behind my TV. Hey guys, it is lunchtime now, and Alex ordered some McDonald's. I usually get the six count kids meal, or nugget meal, but I got the 10 count because Alex said he will eat my extras. So that's lunch today. y'all so I just made it to my school so here I am I only have 30 minutes to get in and out and we're allowed in groups of three so I need to make sure I'm in there and I make great use of my time I'll show you what my classroom looks like really quick and how eerily quiet and kind of sad it looks without any kids so just got in there's like nobody here 
The office is dark. This is where I work. Usually the hallways are hustling and bustling with the sounds of kids and teachers. No kids or teachers to be found. my classroom. I've got little computers, student computers, my library, very disorganized, my teaching TV, my morning meeting calendar. This is my little desk area that I never use actually. I'm going to come take my chair for my home office. I might even take my little bamboo plant needs watering. This is the corner I usually work at. And I have my sub tub ready because I was gonna go on a Europe trip so I had everything ready for my sub because I wasn't planning on returning for three days after spring break because we were gonna be in Europe. So this is my classroom. I'm so glad that we ended our week before this whole craziness happened on a field trip i got to have fun with my kids it was a very fun memorable day and i hope that they took that with them and hopefully when i see them again we can reminisce on our field trip and if not if i don't get to see them after this whole crazy mess is over then they will remember me always as a fun teacher on a field trip <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some things that I need and head out, because I only have 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I just got a few things. I got my laptop and chargers. I got two reading books that I use quite frequently. Um, I got my office chair because I don't have one at home and a pillow to go with it. I'm trying to think of some other things I might need, but honestly, everything is available online, like all the learning resources I usually use that are online. So I don't need to take any physical books with me. Um, I kind of feel like I'm leaving empty handed. Maybe I'll take a few um, office supplies, stapler, scissors, hole puncher, I don't know, some markers, highlighters, and that'll be it. So I don't know what to expect in the next coming weeks, but hopefully I am prepared. So I am currently stuck in traffic. I left the school at 1.30. It is now 2.14 and I'm not even halfway home yet. Why is there so much traffic in Austin right now? It's not even the end of a typical work week. Like the end of a work day, usually when I get home or when I leave the school, it's 3.15 and I get home like around 3.45, maybe four o'clock on a bad day. I have no idea what's going on right now. It's insane and I'm very frustrated and it's annoying. So here I go another hour probably so these are the items i brought from school an office chair office supplies there's a sharpener in there pencils tape stapler my bamboo plant <laughs> gotta keep it alive pillow for my chair laptop chargers We'll see what it looks like in the office. Okay guys, I'm putting on some makeup because I feel like an ogre. So I'm going to put on some minimal makeup just to make myself feel a little better and more productive. So as you can see, 
I am all done. I just put a little bit of makeup on to make myself feel a little better about myself and feel more productive. I am going to set up my office now. So this is the room we're working with here. This is currently my husband's kind of makeshift studio. Um, he usually has like camera lights in here and stuff, but not right now. So I'm going to use this as my desk table. I brought this from school. I'm going to use these little cubicles for storage and the printer. This is actually not a paper printer. This is a photo printer <laughs> to print pictures. So I really don't need that, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay guys, so I'm going to try and set this up as best as I can. I'm going to go through the motions, fast forward it, and then I'll be back to give you a mini tour of my new office area. Y'all, I seriously thought I had it recording the whole time and then I came to my camera and realized it wasn't recording. So you're not going to see like the beginning to end process of what I did, but I'll go ahead and give you a tour of my new office. My new office. As you can see, Alex's backdrop is still here. And I set up my little office. Isn't it so cute? And then right here, it says Miss Barrera. I know I write like a child, but it's okay. So I use these crates to make like a little shelf. I don't really have anything to put in them but maybe I'll find some things. And I have my line paper, copy paper, my little bamboo tree, a sharpener, have my laptop from school, and behind I have a whole bunch of supplies. And then I have my printer, and underneath I have some paper clips in this little jar, stapler, and tape and a hole punch. I have my office chair with a cushion and this is the backpack I usually use for work. So that's it guys. This is my office. Okay guys, so I've decided to do a little workout, more like a yoga routine. So I'm gonna use this area to work out because it's the biggest empty space in the house, so this will be a treat for you guys to watch me make a fool of myself. As we're on our way to HEB, we're walking. So we're getting our walk in and we're going to the grocery store double whammy two and one it's a good day here's Alex he's done with work what up? he's free as a bird okay guys we made it to HEB as you can see I don't know if you can see it this is a very wide camera but the line goes all the way to the back so we're deciding just to go home <laughs> what do you think babe insanity it's crazy we walked here it didn't take us that long we don't live too far we live like two minutes away driving. Yeah, we live exactly 0.66 miles away, which is a little over half a mile. Yeah, so it didn't take us too long, but the line is way too crazy. So I guess we're ordering takeout from now on. We're on a takeout diet. Takeout! Hey, I don't mind. Ah, this is heavy. <laughs> it is. Good job, babe. So we're back from our failed attempt at going to HCP, the line was super long, so we came back and we're cooking dinner, or Alex is cooking dinner. Here's Chef Alejandro. What are you cooking tonight, babe? Some chicken fajitas. Vaginas! Okay, guys, dinner is served. Bon appetit. It's a... Um... Not authentic, but it's what we had. <laughs> what is it, babe? It's chicken, chicken fajitas with red bell peppers, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and some Valentina. Now that's authentic. Valentina. Here's a close-up, guys. Beautiful. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to end the video here. We're gonna eat dinner, probably watch a movie, and go Betty Bye, which is AKA sleep. So adios people, bye.